Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Ghanaian international Arsenal midfielder Thomas Partey has accepted Islam. The Quranly app, subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging and fun. Download it today. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Now I haven't seen it mentioned on his socials so I don't want to speculate as to why he accepted Islam but it has been confirmed by two news outlets. Last month he had victory on the pitch when Arsenal awarded him with player of the month and this month he has victory off the pitch as Allah has awarded him with Islam. I know what you're thinking yeah when's my man gonna make a joke about his surname and be done with it? Look I'm sorry, it's just not that kind of party. <laughs> You're a joke. No one can take you seriously after that. You are an absolute joke. I know, only Boris Johnson would get that joke. Look, I'm sorry, it's just not that kind of party. Uh, yes, yes, and yes, and <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> okay, I'm done. So, Partey joined Arsenal about two years ago from Atletico Madrid and it was for a sum of 45 million pounds. Now someone that's of that kind of value, someone that's rolling in money, someone who has their face shown around the world frankly. What would the need be for him to convert to Islam? Now I'm pointing this to the Muslims that only go to the mosque like every now and then or even to the people who think like Islam it's just one religion amongst the religions mate but him being the guy who he is feeling the need to convert to Islam naturally assumes that what he has is just not doing the job there's something missing and that hole that he had well it's been filled with Islam materialism and accolades just didn't cut it the things you own end up owning you. And some of us watching, hopefully few, not that many, have sacrificed a lot for recognition, respect and, and money. We've, let's face it, screwed over family, friends and our morals, uh, religion and dignity. But ultimately, what's going to help you in the hereafter? The passport that will help you get to Jannah is what? Thomas Partey is holding in this picture which is the verbatim word of Allah, a guide, an instruction manual on how to live our life. When we buy a product we need to know how it works and if we start flapping about without, without the instruction manual we're gonna get things wrong. So likewise if we go about life without referring to the Quran we're gonna get things wrong. And guys if money was of any use we'd see these tyrants that have died in the past, they would have taken all their materialist wealth with them. However, where's that wealth? Either when we dig them up it's in their grave or it's displayed in museums. So I want to end with this guys, Islam is food and nourishment for the soul. If the soul doesn't receive this nourishment it withers away, it becomes weak and susceptible to these isms and schisms and plagues that are infecting our modern society and we become a sheep amongst the herd. May Allah give us the ability to understand, to appreciate value and do justice to this religion. If you're not a Muslim and you want to know what's in that book that Thomas Partey is holding and you don't want to spend a few bob no problem I'm going to put a link in the description for you to get your own free copy of the Quran. <laughs> yeah that's right mate let's leave it there until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.